To take the derivative of this fraction, 1 over the factor 2 minus e to the 5x, we need to use the quotient rule. So when I use the quotient rule, what I usually do is go ahead and write my fraction bar and put the bottom in so that I don't forget it. So that bottom is going to be the factor 2 minus e to the 5x, and we square it. So now the top, we take the derivative of the top, so d dx of 1, times the bottom, which is 2 minus e to the 5x, and then we subtract the top, which is 1, times the derivative of the bottom, d dx of 2 minus e to the 5x. So now uh, we have the quotient rule template already in place there, but we've got to take a couple of derivatives on the top to finish up the derivative. So again, I draw my fraction bar and I write the denominator in so that I don't forget it. And I start taking derivatives on the top. So the derivative of the constant 1 is just 0 there. And so we've got the 0 minus the factor, or 0 times the factor 2 minus e to the 5x. And then we have minus 1 times something, so we don't really need to write that 1 there. So I'm just going to go minus the derivative here. Uh, so we've got to work on this derivative. So this derivative here uh, is the derivative of the constant 2, which would be 0. And then we're using the um, difference rule to be able to just take the derivative term by term. So we've got the derivative of 2, and then we subtract the derivative of e to the 5x. Well, the derivative of e to the x is itself, and so this is really just a chain rule problem where we've got to pull out the inside derivative. So we have the derivative of e to the 5x being e to the 5x, but we pull out the derivative of that exponent, so the derivative of 5x is the 5 that we need to multiply it by. Okay. So at this point, we just need to clean up our work a little bit. We've taken the derivative, and so we're just ready to clean up our answer. So again, we're going to not forget the bottom. We're going to put in the 2 minus e to the 5x and square it. That's on the bottom. And then looking at the top, we have 0 times another factor. So there, that uh, multiplication would just be 0. So now we're looking at minus um, what else is in parentheses there. But again, we have a minus a 0. So really, we just have minus a negative. So the two minus signs, this one right here and this one right here, um, minus a negative would end up just being positive. And so we are looking at the e to the 5x. And then we have times that constant 5, which I'm just going to bring up to the front there. And so that would be our final derivative using the quotient rule.